Hello everybody. In today's numeracy lesson we are going to learn about polygons. A polygon is a closed, flat, two-dimensional shape with straight sides. Examples of polygons could be triangles, squares or rectangles. The word itself actually means a multi-angle shape. You see polygons all around us, like these. The most important thing about polygons is that they have at least three sides and three angles. Another thing to know about polygons is that they cannot have any curved sides, like these shapes. Polygons can be categorised as simple or complex, regular or irregular, and concave or convex. In simple polygons, the sides of the polygon do not intersect, like in square. Whereas the complex polygons have intersecting sides, like this star. Now let's talk about regular polygons. They are the shape that they have equal angles and sides. That means all sides are the same length and all the angles are the same size. But in irregular polygons, the sides and the angles are of varying sizes. They're not the same. In convex polygons, all the interior angles are less than 180 degrees of these shapes. And concave polygons are the ones that have one interior angle greater than 180 degrees. Now, let's talk about what can be considered as a polygon and what is not. A polygon needs to have three important parts. They are sides, that they're just straight line segments that make a polygon. They need to have vertices, which are the points where the lines intersect. And they need to have angles that are formed by the intersecting lines. This polygon has only five sides. It has five vertices. And it has five angles. Now, another important thing to consider whether a shape is a polygon or not is that polygons are closed shapes. For example, this one could be a polygon because it's a closed shape. But this one cannot be called a polygon because it's not closed and there's a way to the outside area of the shape. And the last important thing to consider is that polygons are two-dimensional shapes, which means they are flat. The thing is that polygons are two-dimensional shapes, but they can be used to make three-dimensional shapes. In fact, most of the three-dimensional shapes are made of polygons. For example, have a look at this cube, which is made of squares, and squares are polygons because they have sides, vertices and angles. They are closed and they are two-dimensional shapes. Now, to sum it all up, a shape is called a polygon if it has these three things. Sides, vertices and angles, it is closed and it is a two-dimensional shape. Now, let's have a quiz to see if you can identify the polygons. Are you ready? Let's get started. Is a dog a polygon? No, of course not, because it doesn't have the properties of a polygon like sides, vertices and angles, and it's not a 2D shape. What about the pyramid? Is it a polygon? No, because it's a 3D shape and polygons are 2D or two-dimensional shapes. A hexagon? Yes, because it has sides, 
vertices and angles. It's a 2D shape and it's a close shape. A ball. Hmm. No, because ball has curved sides and polygons have no curved sides. So it's a no. A diamond. Yes, because it has sides, vertices and angles. It's a 2D shape and it's a close shape. So it's a yes. This shape? No, because it's not a close shape. A love heart? No, because a love heart has curved sides and polygons don't have curved sides. Now let's try to name these polygons. This one is a square, it's a quadrilateral, it has four sides and four vertices. This is another quadrilateral, which means that it has four sides. It's a rectangle, it has four sides and it has four vertices. Here is another quadrilateral because it has four sides and its name is a parallelogram. It has four sides and four vertices. This is a triangle. Three sides and three vertices. This is a pentagon. It has five sides and five vertices. Then we have a hexagon which has six sides and six vertices. The next shape is an octagon. It has eight sides and eight vertices. This is a nonagon. It has nine sides and nine vertices. This shape is a decagon. It has ten sides and ten vertices. And that's the end of this video. If you've liked it or if you've learned something new, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to support us. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.